Hey guys, John from One Up Reviews, and today we've got a sneak review and an unboxing of the Adidas Adi Zero Allbirds collaboration. Before we get to this review guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews, slap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, that helps us greatly, drop some love in the comment section below, we try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown out our way, and I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank our subscribers new and old, without you guys we can't do this, so thank you, let's go. So today we've got a look at the Adi Zero Allbirds 2.94 CO. And we got this in the UK size eight. It's a European 42 with the French and it's a US eight and a half. And before we get unboxing, this is a look at the Adidas and Allbirds collaboration. For those that don't know, well, I don't really need to explain who Adidas are. They're probably one of, one of the biggest sports retailers, sporting brands made on the surf today. But Allbirds are a, shoe manufacturing company i believe they also do clothes but i've known them as a sustainable sneaker company they use a lot of recycled materials when it comes to the production of their shoes and they try and use less petrol less waste in order to reduce the carbon footprint on the earth and make their sneakers more sustainable and hopefully uses less waste when it comes to production and hopefully they are able to reuse the materials of uh, old sneakers, use them on new ones to, uh, again, reduce waste and carbon emissions. There's a lot going on in these brands. It's, it's great to see that um, Allbirds have like, really picked up in regards to people knowing the brand. I'm pretty sure the sales have been through the roof um, for Allbirds. Like, loads of people have been picking up all birds themselves. If you want to see us do an all birds review, let us know in the comment section below. But today we've got a look at the Adidas collaboration and they've come together to make a new running sneaker. So let's go unboxing. So it's really dope to see that they've also integrated helping to reduce the carbon emissions of this manufacturing on this sneaker by using a very small box. It fits the sneakers in effortlessly as well, just don't see, there we go, get them out. And you know, it just means that they'll be, they're able to put more shoes on shipping freights. And so, you know, you don't use a lot of ships to ship the shoes. And what's dope is, is that it's got every single carbon footprint sum on the tongue of the sneaker, but we'll get into those details once we reach there. But we have a look looks like a very dope running sneaker. Very lightweight, you've got to take my words. This is comes in at 6.15 ounces or 174 grams. Again, very lightweight. So we'll start with the outsole. So this outsole uses natural rubbers. You can see it here all along. So you've got the brown strips, you've got the black strips all there. And you can obviously see the foam. Now we look at the foam and this midsole foam is a bioform midsole so you at least i believe it's 17 percent of this midsole is plant-based all birds use sugar cane to produce their midsoles and that's what they've incorporated here and you can see it right here on the sneaker itself that this sneaker hence the name 2.94 it uses then it has the 12 carbon footprint 2.94 kilograms co2 e so that's the carbon emissions per pair it's great to see uh, moving along onto the upper so this upper is made out of textile materials and what's great is it's made out of again recycled materials you can't really see any structural part of the sneaker because it is essentially just a sock but where the, you can you see the neon stitching on this like peach, coral, pink, orange, and fluorescent yellow, that this helps structure the sneaker, gives it more of the shape. Stitching all around as well here on the main body of the sneaker, not just the toe box. And just on the lateral side, you've got the Adidas logo, the Allbirds logo. The tongue, again, it's just like a sock liner. It's just stitched on onto the upper, so it just rests on the top of your feet. 
but you can see that the carbon footprint emissions is all there. That includes the transportation costs that have been um, contributed to the making of the sneaker. So the shoe making itself is 2.16 kg. Packaging, 0.32 kg. Transportation, 0.09 kg. The use, zero. End of life, 0.37. And that comes to a total of 2.94 kg out of carbon emissions. Very great use of products in regards to manufacturing. And uh, stylistically, these sneakers are really dope as well. Incorporating all the best parts of Adidas and all the best bits of Allbirds to combine and make such uh, energy efficient, helps to reduce waste sneaker. And at the end of the day, this is just rather sleek, great use of uh, materials again. And it's just dope to see Adidas calling upon a brand like Allbirds when it comes to their production and waste management, I would say, to make a really dope sneaker. Hopefully more brands like Adidas, Nike, hopefully the big brands are called into arms when it comes to helping reduce the waste and reducing carbon emissions on our planet. I can't wait to try these on. I'm not gonna run in these, unfortunately, but I'll let you know how they fit and whether they're comfy or not. So roll that footage of me trying these Adi Zeros and Allbirds collaborations on. When it comes to the fit guys, I recommend that you get your treated size Adidas fit. I'm a UK size eight when it comes to Adidas. My toes are where they need to be. In regards to the comfort, it's very comfortable guys. Uh, even though it's very thin use of materials and I mean, it is a textile upper. Very breathable, I must add. I totally forgot to mention about the insole. The insole is a foam insole and what you've got as well are the carbon emissions for each version. It's printed out on the left hand side. The right, it just shows the Allbirds logo. Again, very comfortable, I must add. Uh, what else can I say about this? It doesn't feel, I mean, when it comes to Adidas, I think of Adidas Boost and how great energy will return for every stride I take in those are. Um, in comparison, this use of sugarcane, I mean, I can see the benefits, but it isn't as beneficial as a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost that are using that kind of technology. But if you're big into using less waste and helping the environment, these are the way to go. Very stylish on as well. Wish I was wearing shorts, but alas. Thanks guys for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us at 1UpReviews with the Z at the end on Instagram. Until next time, peace.